start today. I just gotta say, if you notice the intro, it's different because we're changing things up. We're at the 10th video, that's the halfway point. So you might notice a few things changing here and there. Um, hopefully you guys like it, so stay tuned. Also, I got, finally got a jacket. It's still winter, but I can't complain no more like I did in the past. <laughs> and it's freezing. It's still winter. We're still cold. Got the scarf still. It's freezing right now. It's winter. What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to another episode of Discovering Paris. Today I'm out here with the squad. We got Alan, Michelle, Sydney, and Lloyd. Hi, my name is Sydney, and I go to Chico State. Boom! We're good. And we're in the 10th Ooh. arrondissement. It's located on the right side of the Seine, also known as Saint Laurent. Today, there's a lot of things we want to check out. First off, there's two ports here, Saint-Denis and Saint-Martin, which are really cool, part of old Paris back in the days. This district's known for the two giant train stations, Gare du Nord, Gare de l'Est, and as well, it's really known for the canal, Saint-Martin. It's a very famous canal. They used it in the film Amelie, so we're definitely going to check that out today. Et faire des ricochets sur le canal Saint-Martin. This district gets kind of a weird reputation for it being kind of seedy and sketchy. I don't know if that's true. We're gonna go walk the streets and find out and we're gonna take you guys along with us. Let's get started. We just arrived here at Port Saint-Martin, which is similar to the Arc de Triomphe, which uh, can be found in the 8th, which is really cool during New Year's. <laughs> Anyways, there's two of these, Port Saint-Martin and Port Saint-Denis. They used to be a giant wall, which was the border of Paris back in medieval times, but today they stand here as a remembrance of the past. Anyways, they're really cool to check out. And I think that's the thing in this district that you can really see the architecture. So we're gonna go check out some more buildings, visit a few churches, and we out. Let's go.
we just arrived here at the Église Saint Vincent de Paul. Uh, it's one of the two churches that we want to check out today. Anyways, it was created in the 1800s and it's named after St. Paul. But yeah, this is the first church we want to see. It has really interesting architecture. It's very different from the second one. The second church we're going to head to is called L'Église de Saint Laurent. Anyways, we're going to check out these two churches and maybe look for some food. We're kind of hungry. It's about the afternoon now. Let's go. Here we're at Hitomi. It's an all-you-can-eat buffet for the fixed price of like 12 euros. So we just ordered, we got a lot of food coming and it's about to be good. So I think for once this is one of the best places we've come to for food in this like series. Last episode. Well I think most of the videos will be us and Parkmore scoping out deals. Yeah. Like, hey, did you see this uh, panel chocolate? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like half of it is me and Alan debating quantity of quality. So we just got our food right here. Um, as you can see. The thing is though, like, the portions are actually kind of small. So if you do come here, uh, you know, size up, get a few more plates, cause um, I mean, yeah, that's my fist. <clears throat> that's the noodles. It's pretty tiny. So if you come here, you know, order a few more things. We just arrived here at the Canal Saint Martin, which is probably the thing this district is really known for. It's a long body of water that connects down in the 19th arrondissement. But as well, it's a really nice place to come to during the spring and summer when it's warmer outside and the trees actually have leaves. Right now it's winter, so they're all dead. But anyways, this place is a really cool location because it has a lot of bars, restaurants, theaters, cinemas, all within close proximity. So you can see a lot of cool things all here. I definitely recommend coming during the warmer seasons, but it's nice to come to run, jog, or just read a book. It's a really nice place to come and chill and get away from the city. But anyways, we're gonna go walk down here and check it out and explore a little bit.
Anyways, wrapping up this video, the tenth was definitely an interesting district that I had not seen before. It had a mix of kind of urban, a little more hood, but it also had a lot of really nice things about it. This district is definitely the district of cosmetics, hair products, weaves, definitely got those. Dogs and kebabs, watch your step, there's a lot of dogs out here. I mean, they're nice, but I mean, it's definitely worth checking out just to see the old architecture, like the two arcs and the canal here. It's definitely worth coming out to see. Anyways, this district is fun to come. It's definitely better, I think, during the summer seasons and spring because it won't be freezing. Everything will be, you know, in season. It'll be greener. So come by during the springtime. Well, anyways, that was our trip in the 10th. We will catch you guys next time in the 9th. Outro. We're on the 10th arrondissement, also known as Saint, Saint, Saint Laurent. Laurent. Saint Laurent? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a Okay, take three. Take three. All right, take Sydney. And it's my time. Yeah, it is. Oh. This is the halfway, yeah. Okay. You do eight, I want to be there. Oh, you won't, you will. No. <laughs> so we just arrived here at Port Sam. So we, <laughs> bloopers. Okay, what else are we doing here? Oh, um, as well, this district. <laughs> really known for the two churches that are here um, Church Saint Laurent and Church. What was the other one? <laughs> <laughs> it's a really big body of water that connects into the 19th. Why are you focusing? It was good. Oh my God. Oh, Do you cut these all the time? Like you really oh yes. <laughs> oh yes. You have because, no. Like